In the western German city of Aachen, buses now leave quite a data trail. An onboard computer always knows where Dieter Keller's bus is at any given moment, as well as where the schedule says it's supposed to be. A simple system of colors and numbers tells the driver at a glance whether he's late or early at a stop. That makes his job easier. We used to have to check the bus timetable against the clock. That was the only option we had when it came to seeing if we were on time or not. But with this system, you feel a lot more in control. When you head out in the morning, it all just falls into place. You don't have to be looking at the clock all the time. You see everything at a glance. The onboard computer transmits the position and timing of the bus every 20 seconds or so to this processing center. Big data has become routine here. The center servers process huge amounts of information in real time and can collate it for display on the monitors. Every bus appears on them as a colored dot with positioning constantly updated so administrators can react quickly if they have to. When passengers are at risk of not making a connection because a bus is late, the dispatcher can tell the waiting bus how long it will be before the late bus will arrive, so the connection works, and the driver doesn't have to leave before a colleague arrives. The dispatcher can also tell the driver of the waiting bus if the wait is going to be too long to wait, because it would then cause him to miss subsequent connections. Up to 335 buses are on the streets of Aachen during peak rush hour. They transmit about a million sets of positioning coordinates every day. The processing center stores the data for three years, a treasure trove of transport data. The information that it provides allows us to improve the overall timetable and keep buses on schedule. For example, if we notice that a bus is always late to a certain stop, then we can change the timetable to reflect that. And the next time we revamp the bus schedules, we take it into account. That improves our service. The company that manufactures the system has sold it to around 350 cities around the world. Its turnover topped 46 million euros in 2013. Engineer Klaus Dohmann says efficiency is just one reason why public transport providers have begun to employ big data in a big way. Increasingly, transportation companies have to give a precise account of the service they've provided to the responsible transport authorities. They have to show that they've carried out all of the scheduled journeys to the end without any delays, or that they're at least operating within certain parameters, that they've driven the agreed number of kilometers and so on. The processing center in Aachen also runs electronic displays at bus stops, around 60 in all. It calculates departure times based on a bus's real-time positioning data. The city's transport services provider has invested around one and a half million euros in the system. Smartphone users like Arne Makwa can also access information directly. Around 40,000 people have downloaded the Aachen Public Transportation app. When he starts the program, it determines his position, tells him which stops are in the area, and when a bus will arrive. It's practical, especially during evening rush hour, because you know before you get up from your desk whether the bus is on schedule or not. And if it isn't, you know how many minutes you have to wait until its departure. All thanks to big data. But what about the data that the users leave behind? What about privacy issues? After all, bus app users also provide information about where they are and where they want to go. What happens to that data? That's not an area that receives critical attention because the app is a purely informative tool. In other words, the user doesn't have to sign into the system. The transport provider has no information about the person. There's no ID involved. The system just processes incoming requests in the same way that a website does. So in Aachen, if the bus is coming late, these people will know about it ahead of time. 